hello, hello. So I have five quick minutes. I'm on vacation. I don't wanna be that weird person that's always in the room working out. So what do I do for my core? I would start with my foam roller, which of course you have to roll out your IT bands and any other myofascial interest that you have in your body. Um, and um, possibly shin splints from running. Um, so press out, press in, just roll out your shins for a moment, find your core, feel your center, feel your spine, and then little tricep dips like this. Back bend, rest your knees on your roller and roll your shoulders back. Let your hips fall forward so you stretch out your hip flexors. Maybe you had a long car ride or a long plane ride. This helps release those hip flexors. Then tip tuck, engage your core. Think about your pelvis coming into your ribs and lift up high into a pike. Press out into a plank. Tuck up into a pike. Press out into a plank. Again, round up into a pike. Back into a plank. This is also warming up your shoulders. Back into a plank. Tuck into a pike. One more little flow, tricep dips, bend your elbows right onto your rib cage, and then back, bend up, roll your shoulders, and turn over onto your side. Put your right elbow on the mat, take your top leg back, so your left leg's back, your right leg's forward. Roll your shoulder behind your ear, lift up, and lift your hip into your rib, then tap down. Little side plank action, warming up your shoulder, your serratus, your internal and external oblique, probably more external oblique here, bringing your hip into your rib, lift and tap, and lift, tap, lift, good. Shoulder stays behind your ear, two more. Last one, stay at the top of your plank and lift up your front leg. Lift, 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 lift. In Pilates, we do things on a four count, so either sets of eight or sets of 12, like I'm doing today, and then have a seat. Bring your top leg over your bottom leg and put your hand where your elbow was, your other hand in front of your hip. Now roll your shoulders back and pull your rib cage away from your pelvis. Then turn to your mat into a plank. Tip tuck, bring your hips into your ribs, into a pike, back out to a plank, and then twist back and drop your hip. Again, plank, pike, Plank, twist, plank, pike, plank, twist, plank, pike, plank, twist, plank, pike, plank, and tap your hip. Plank, pike, plank, twist, plank, pike, high, and twist. Feel how your ribs move your obliques engage, you'll get more internal obliques here with this deep rotation, your rectus abdominis as you pike up, and then bend your right knee in, your left leg next to the roller, and reach out, stretch some lateral movement in your mermaid stretches, reach and reach, side bend over, good reach, nice and long, then press out over your knees, stretch here. Inhale where you're tight. Usually people are tighter as they extend out over their knee. Now if this puts a sharp shooting pain in your knee, you may need to kind of lift up to reach out, maybe sit on a block or a ball or a book or I don't know, a pillow something to give you a little bit more space in that knee capsule. Over your shin, press out and back up, pulling your ribs away from your hips, get a little longer, and then over your other knee, press out, reach, and restack your spine, reach, restack, reach out, good. And then set the roller on the other side of the mat, so convenient. You're gonna put your left elbow down and lift up into your side plank. Bring your hip into your rib, nice and long. 
Make sure your chest is in front of your shoulder. So keep bringing your breastbone further forward. Chest open. That's right. Very nice. Lift. Hip into your ribs. Feel your shoulder behind your ear. Good. Two more. One more, stay at the top, pick up your front leg. That's gonna be your left leg, closest to the floor. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat, bring your top leg over your bottom leg, hand where your elbow was, your other hand right in front of your hip, and then turn into your plank, tuck up into your pike, press out into your plank, and rotate back, tap your hip. Good, plank, pike, plank, and twist. Plank, pike, plank, and tap. Plank, pike, plank, and twist. Plank, pike, plank, and twist. Very nice. You'll kind of get used to where to breathe. I like exhaling in the pike so that I can get that inertia of moving my Diaphragm out of the way, lifting my pelvic floor, using my transverse abdominal wall. Good. One more. Pike, plank, twist. Bring your left knee in and your right leg back. Side bend, stretch. Literal lateral reach. Should feel really good after travel. And then over your knee, press out, breathe. Inhale, reach and return, reach. And in front, a few stretches forward. Good. Think about bringing your breastbone way out in front of your shin. And then over your other knee, lengthen, reach, breathe. All the way out, stretch. Breastbone over your kneecap, stretch. Okay, now some back bends over this roller. So tip your shoulder blades over the roller, try to get your head on the floor, stretch out your chest, and maybe windshield wipe over your knees. Go gentle with this, especially if you've just been traveling. So little tip side to side. Good, sometimes this can be extreme on your low back, so let's not be crazy. You don't wanna be injured while you travel. We're trying to prevent injuries. Good, pick up your head, pick up your hips. Just one inch, you're still in a little bit of a thoracic back bend. And then massage your back with roller. From the bottom of your ribs up to the top of your shoulders, massaging your bones. Shoulders to ribs. Nice and smooth. Have a seat, back bend stretch. You're all done.